In the biggest redesign since 2012, the MacBook Pro has some new features to get acquainted with. First, let's talk the touch bar, an OLED panel that sits above the keyboard in place of the function keys. It's 60 pixels high and 2170 pixels wide, adapting what it shows on screen based on the context of what you're doing. So, if you're in a mail app, you'll have reply or forward controls, text formatting and quick type options that predict what you might want to say in the email. Or if you prefer talking in emojis, the touch bar lets you select those too. The multi-touch interface means tap and slide motions for volume, switching browser tabs or even mixing music are supported. Coming straight from the iPhone, the Touch ID sensor on the Mac is integrated into the power button. Used to authorize payments with Apple Pay and quickly switch between users, it's a long overdue addition to the laptop line. It also hints at future applications for biometric authentication on the Mac beyond using your Apple Watch or a third-party app. Skylake is the sixth generation of Intel's Core i chips, and they're finally available in the new MacBook Pros. Dual core in the 13 inch and quad core in the 15 inch, just like before. It's not the seventh generation Intel KB Lake processors many were hoping for, but a performance boost nonetheless. With a new space grey finish alongside the traditional silver, the laptop is lighter and thinner than ever before. The butterfly keyboard and the force touch trackpad are different too. The MacBook also has a new price. The base 13 inch model, without a touch bar, starts at 1500 US dollars. That's $200 more than the base price of the last generation 13-inch MacBook Pro. If you want the touch bar, you'll have to pay for the other 13-inch or 15-inch model. The iPhone 7 removed the headphone jack and the MacBooks removed, well, just about everything but the headphone jack. Instead, there are USB-C ports, two on the entry-level 13-inch and four on the higher-end 13-inch and 15-inch models. They can carry data, connect to power, support HDMI out, but of course you'll need an adapter for many devices. Think different? Maybe it should be Think Dongle.